The Kitsum Kalem pole raising was a rare and very special ceremony, incorporating a wonderful mixture of native tradition with a few modern touches. People from all over the province came to share a moment that, for this band, hasn't happened in over 150 years. Over 2,000 people showed up, jamming the reserve entrance and lining Highway 16 for a glimpse of the occasion. At first, the afternoon took the feel of a parade. Baton twirlers led the way for marching bands. But then the drums began, and the totem poles were hoisted to the shoulders of band members and spectators. They emerged from the workshed where carvers have been shaping the cedar poles since January. Eighty people were needed to carry the poles down the gravel road and lower them slowly onto supports for the ceremony to begin. The new pole represents the people here today, the young ones, the new generation. The people that were bypassed for three or four generations. We're here to try and pick up what was forgotten. It was more than 150 years ago that this ceremony was held on the Kitsum Kalem Reserve, but they had not forgotten how to actually raise the poles. In the past, instead of this concrete base, the totem was lowered into a hole where a live slave was sacrificed. Nylon ropes weren't used 150 years ago, but manpower is still the requisite for raising a totem pole. Hundreds of spectators grabbed ropes and started both poles on a rhythmic ascent. Calling for people to go easily, Chief Cliff Bolton watched as the smaller pole easily rose from the ground. But the larger totem proved to be too heavy, and there were tense moments as people added braces and lowered the pole back down. Tradition has it that if a totem falls during the ceremony, it has to stay there until it rots. But the drum started a half hour later, and native history was made. it all of, all the nicer is it that it's by the people of Kalem for the people of Kalem. <laughs> Celebrations continued all day with native dances and an enormous feast for all who attended, culminating a day the Kitsum Kalem decided to share with the entire community. It's for everyone to enjoy and it's for everyone to see that this is the Kitsum Kalem's place, the people of the Gelikel. Our people wanted it, and our elders wanted it, and now it's here. David Levy, First News, Terrace.